Hello, and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Online. Let's continue. Another successful mission, but we're not finished yet. Just the person I was looking for. King Dina is rallying our forces near the Reaver Citadel. We're ready to make the next assault? Yes. King Dina and our forces are preparing to attack the Reaver Citadel to the north. And on my way to find you, I noticed a strange shipyard to the east and a Red Guard settlement to the west. What's a Red Guard settlement doing here? No, I doubt it's an actual settlement. That's just what the architecture reminded me of. I wasn't able to get too close, but I swear I heard music coming from that direction. What kind of music? You know, it sounded very festive to me. Isn't that strange, in a place like this? What could any of these souls shriven have to be happy about? for your games. <laughs> Mortals are always so amusing. I offer information, aid for your quest, and you shun me. You expect us to trust a creature of the plains? Ridiculous! A mare as arrogant as a kin. How delightful. Ah, here I do comes so the love watching egotistical braggarts stumble. I may allow you to reconsider and accept my offer, of course, I may not. I haven't decided yet. You there! Find out where that creature is lurking. I want her watched. We have come so far. But we have leagues to go before this business is concluded. We must push forward. We must find a way through the walls of the fortified city that looms ahead of us. I'm ready to help, Your Highness. A Dramora army guards the walls of the Citadel, but there are those among us who recognize the city, who knew it well before it was pulled from Nern. We can use the guild halls inside to launch a surprise attack, provided someone prepares the way. What do you need me to do? Find a way inside and locate the Fighters Guild. Wards protect the hall, making it impossible for anyone to get in or out of the building. We know a secret tunnel that leads into the hall, but we'll be trapped inside until the wards are deactivated. I'll find a way to deactivate the wards. Ah, little mortal. While it might be entertaining to watch you bumble about the Citadel, I would much rather just see you get about your business. I'm sure that whatever you have planned will ultimately work in my favor. Why don't you just tell me what you're talking about? Right to the point? How distressful. Oh, very well. You seek a way into the Citadel, one that won't attract any undue notice. As it happens, I know just the thing. If you follow the East Wall, you'll find a breach that leads inside. Why are you helping us? Never look a gift, Daedroth, in the maw, little mortal. I offer information, nothing more. The warded building you seek is near the main gate. The kin will try to stop you. If they don't succeed, we will speak again. I'll look for the breach. I'll let the others know that you've got a way in.
And so, the little mortal, once more into the breach. I believe the Aeliot King wants you to find a hidden key. Hurry. I think your friends have already made it into the sealed hall. Why isn't this breaking the wall guarded? How amusing. The little mortal suspects a trap. You are wise to fear the duplicity of Dramora, but I assure you that you are safe enough. Illusions hide this area from the kin. Just a little trick I recently picked up. Horn lamp? Why is the key in a lamp? you'd be able to deactivate the wards. The Fighters Guild troops have already begun our two-pronged attack. What do we need to launch phase two? The fighters will draw the attention of the Dramora while you go to the upper city. For the mages to utilize their guild hall's portal, you need to get it working. Find the four portal stones and activate them. Then the mages can join the fray. I'll get the portal working. stairs. They're coming through the gates again. We've got to stop them. Oh, man. Stones? What this?
friggin' voodoo shit. Again, my fearless friend! Well done! With the Dramora caught between my powerful mages and King Dinar's relentless fighters, they won't know which way to turn. The two-pronged attack is underway. What's the next step? The Mages Guild and the Fighters Guild will complete the conquest of the Citadel, but we need someone to storm the Pyramid Stronghold and deal with the leader of this installation, Vulcanaz Ceres. That someone, my friend, is you. Take out the Vulcanize, got it. Your common vernacular aside, that is indeed the critical task. Vulcanize Ceres has a key to the Labyrinth. Eliminating the Vulcanize and obtaining that key are critical components to our success here. Only those of Daedric blood may enter the pyramid, little mortal. Can you open the way for us? I told you that you'd need my help. A Daedric ritual locks this door, and only a willing offering of kin blood will open it. I am your key to Valkanaz Ceris. You are my key to vengeance. Will you help me in the coming battle? That I cannot do, little mortal. If the Valkanaz is banished by my hand, I will lose honor and standing. If you kill him, however, I remain true to my word. And Ceris abides in the darkness with my lost clan until Cold Harbor allows him to return. Why do you seek vengeance? My clan was destroyed. Erased from this existence. And the hand that orchestrated that destruction was Valkanas Ceris. He thought my clan was a threat to his power. Whatever the right or wrong of it, Ceris must pay for what he did. I'm ready. Open the door. The way is open. Destroy Ceris. Painfully. He deserves whatever horrors you decide to inflict upon him. Jode's bones! What Holy is that thing? Shit. There's a big boy. A big old boy. Oh god damn, that was easy. My lost man awaits Ceres in the darkness. Even though the blade that banished him was not in my hand, his end was my doing. You have been a most useful weapon, little mortal. Take the labyrinth key, with my thanks. Even by kin reckoning, I have waited a long time to send Ceres into the darkness. Allow me to savor this moment, little mortal. So now you're the Vulcanize of the Citadel? What possible interest could that be to you, little mortal? Let me guess. You're worried now that I will order my kin to destroy you. I assure you, a change in leadership can be a time of confusion. 
No harm will come to you or yours. For now. Are you happy now that Vulcanon Ceres is dead? Kin do not die. Ceres has been banished to the darkness. Long ago, our clans were locked in war. Ceres, through treachery, banished my clan. Everyone but me. I accepted a blood oath to remain free, promising that my hand would never harm him. But you asked me to slay him. I remained true to my oath. I helped you enter the pyramid. Nothing more. Indeed, the ignominy of a mortal sending Ceres to the darkness was most gratifying. I hope you brought the key. We're ready to make the final push, but we're finished if we can't get inside. This is our last chance to save our world. It's all or nothing now. I have the key that opens the way to the labyrinth. How odd that the Dramora aided us against her kin and Molag Ball. She must have had a powerful thirst for vengeance. Anyway, it appears as if we are once again in your debt. Thank you, my brave friend. Alright, well I gotta pause it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.